I'm Lyra. I'm a British artist living and working in the western suburbs of Paris. I spent the first 10 years of my life in a small village in Oxfordshire, and I think that the closeness to nature that I felt as a small child, down amongst the blades of grass and the insects, has had a big influence on the subjects that I like to paint. My first artistic success was when I won the first prize in the Great Haisley Horticultural Show Art Competition at the age of four with a picture of a camel. I can still remember the feeling of satisfaction when the picture turned out exactly how I'd hoped that it would. Later in my school years, music became more important than art until I moved to Florence in Italy and fell in love with early Italian painting. I returned to Oxford to do a master's degree in art history and then went to Cambridge to train as a paintings conservator. Part of the training involved learning historical painting techniques, and I was surprised to find that I was quite good at them. A few years after my training, I was invited back to Cambridge to make a copy of an early Italian crucifix as a commission for the Catholic chaplaincy there. It was a fantastic experience to be able to research and use authentic materials and techniques from 13th century Italy, and I remember saying then that if I could make a career out of painting like that, then I would. I'm fascinated by the raw materials of painting, the pigment soils, resins, glues, woods and canvas. I love my studio to be full of their colours, textures and smells. When I paint, I always make a drawing first, then I prepare wooden panels with a chalk ground, trace the drawing onto the panel and grind raw pigments with egg yolk to make paint like medieval artists did. I also use a lot of gold leaf, which I apply by the traditional method of water gilding followed by burnishing. Sometimes I incise and punch the gold to decorate it. Lately I've been interested in modelling shapes, including human figures in low relief in the chalk plaster, and then painting or gilding them. Early Italian art isn't my only influence. I spent some time as a paintings conservation intern in the National Museum of Art in Maputo in Mozambique, where I had the privilege to work on paintings by some of Mozambique's greatest artists. Their use of bright colours on black grounds and the closeness of man and nature that I see in many of their works are things that have emerged subconsciously in my work too. When I moved to France in 2012, I had to take time out from conservation to get my qualifications validated so that I could continue my career. During that time, I started making my own paintings and I haven't stopped since. I've gradually moved from more decorative painting paintings that express my feelings, convictions and spirituality. Being a part of Partou and having the support of the other artists in the group has helped me to gain confidence and to take more risks. I'm really excited to see where my work's going to go next. <laughs>